Hey everyone, I'm Laszlo, and in the next few minutes, let's say around four or five, I want to talk you through how Cogni connects concepts and documents together. We will also do a little side-by-side -side of a more traditional reg approach versus a graph-based approach. And in the end, I will show you how exactly those documents get linked up in Cogni. The first two are both about the same subject, the release of GPT-5. One is an official announcement from OpenAI highlighting reasoning and multimodal upgrades. And the other is from industry analysts talking about how GPT-5 might reshape enterprise workflows. The next two are on a completely different subject, diet and healthy eating. One emphasizes whole food like fruits, vegetables and grains as part of disease prevention. And the other covers a study showing cardiovascular improvements from a Mediterranean plant-based diet in just 12 weeks. And the last one is about a completely different topic, um, competitive cycling, specifically about a mountain stage where the race leader attacked in the final kilometers to take the win. So first off, I'm going to delete everything graph related from our Cogni pipeline. And what that leaves us with is just the document chunks on their own. I mean, together with some meta information, of course. When I run the pipeline now, you can see we've basically got a bunch of isolated nodes, little islands of document chunks that are not connected to each other. Um, when we do retrieval in this setup, you're just getting back the closest chunks based on purely um, a vector similarity, no connections in between. So basically your top K results are just um, standalone pieces. Okay, let's put the graph back into the pipeline. Now we have the graph structure, you will see how the different documents are connected based on the different concepts that we are talking about. So first of all, we have this document chunk, which is talking about the Mediterranean diet and about people who are following the diet. And then we have the Tour de France uh, chunk. And they are connected because they are all talking about a group of people like cycling tanks around the world and again, people following the plant-based diet. And we also have the early testers of the GPT-5. Then we have another connection. So we have the race leader and we have the nutrition experts from another chunk. They are both people, so we connect them. Then we have a feature which is only connected to the GPT-5 uh, related chunk and you can see how the two GPT-5 related chunks are forming a pretty strong cluster. And this one is talking about food in general, about the disease. None of the other document chunks are talking about these concepts, so obviously they are not connected. And pretty much that's it. You can see how the different documents are connected based on the topics and based on the entities, entity types they are talking about. And why is it useful? You can imagine you have a bunch of documents. I'm not talking about 10, 20, 100 documents, but let's say you have uh, 10,000, 100,000, or even millions of documents. And what you have with this, you are basically pre-computing content-related structural information between your documents, supporting your context retrieval in the future. Basically, you can think of it that you are building a brain for your AI agent that is able to connect all your memories. If this was somehow interesting and you want to know more, check out Cogni on GitHub. You can find us on cogni.ai. And if you have any further questions, feel free to reach us out on our Discord channel. See you in the next one.